three months. Ninety days of hellish monotony and sharing showers with scum and villainy. I've been keeping my head down and trying to keep my sanity in this awful magic proof cesspool. But soon I shall... Morning, chaps. Time to get up and about. Time for another glorious day in paradise. Ugh, I can hardly wait to visit the spa. I hear the mould in the shower room is particularly invigorating today. Cheer up, Malak. Only six and a half years to go. Why don't you get us off to a good start by giving me your keys, Darren? <laughs> good one, Malak. Uh, no can do, I'm afraid. <laughs> Give them here. Oh, I don't think so, Errol. Don't worry. I'll make sure you're taken care of when I get out of here. How do these people manage to both undercook and burn this food at the same time? At least it's consistent. Consistently terrible. But what will you do when you get out of here? I'll probably go back to picking pockets. It's honest work. I'd like to find an apple tree with the biggest, ripest, juiciest apples on it. And then I'd nick them all. I have a craving for apples. It'll probably help with your scurvy too. Scurvy? Oh, uh, never mind. Well, gentlemen, my plans are a tad more ambitious. I'm going to conquer the world. Imagine it. Vast armies at my command. The people in the land cowering in fear at my awesome power, forced to pay tribute to their mighty and terrible overlord. Every day a new tax. Mondays will be wearing hats in public. Tuesdays could be walking with a swagger. And don't get me started on Wednesdays. And any dissent will be met with the harshest of penalties. I'll turn entire villages into toads if there's even a whiff of defiance. Toads? Yes, toads. People hate being turned into toads. I guess. I know I hate it. But you don't want to get known as the toad guy. The toad guy? How dare you? Yeah, no, I was just saying. Turning people into toads is great and all, but you need to diversify your portfolio. Hmm. You may have a point. Maybe I should hire you as my public relations henchman when we get out. And mark my words, that day might come sooner than you think. And when it does, I might have something to occupy you. Oh, that's very enigmatic. Oh, thank you. Here, what's Errol up to over there? What's he saying to that guard? Guard! Guard! Oh man, Errol, I am so sorry. Leaving your door open, that is just unacceptable. We take your security seriously here, you know. It's not about the damn door, Darren. Malak, he's gone. Gone? What, like, gone to the bathroom? No, you numbskull. Gone as in escaped. I told you he was planning something in the canteen. Oh, we'll start a search of the grounds immediately. You, come with me.